Good morning, modern steaders. Guys, I'm getting sick of all this ice. Look at it. And I'm sure you are too, because you got to listen to me with my ice cleats. If I didn't have these things, whew, I wouldn't be getting down to the goat barn. This is unreal this year, this kind of weather we've been having. I'm still kind of sliding around this morning with these ice cleats on. And these things are fierce. Six degrees out this morning. Cold, cold, cold. I'm supposed to be getting more snow this week. So it's going to get interesting with having ice under more snow. Come on in, girls. Yesterday, we made some dog treats. I'll put a link to that video right here, but... I don't see why they can't be goat treats. There's pumpkin, peanut butter, and wheat flour. I bet the goats are gonna love them. Well, Oh, is that good? We just gotta get you girls to sit, give us high five, and roll over. Blossom. Oh. Buttercup, you lost it. Mama got it. You want one? You keep eating them all, Willow. Them good? Even the goats like them. All right, we'll give you your alfalfa pellets. You know, there is two sides to that feeder you can eat on, girls. There you go. You got them all. I know, Willow, you're all messed up. We're not going on the milking stand. We'll really make them work for those alfalfa pellets. I hide that stuff on you? You ate all the treats. They were good, huh? Yeah. Pumpkin and peanut butter. Yum, yum, yum. That's some good stuff. You got all your treats too, girl. I know, no milking. It's crazy. Gotta get back in the house. The camera battery's flashing red. That means we're dying. The chickens are still loving the chaff, hey? It's frozen out here this morning. So we've been feeding the chickens of New York City now chaff hay for five or six days. Something like that. So today we're gonna to do a side-by-side -side comparison. I've been saving the eggs and marking on it which day it is. And we're gonna crack the eggs and I wanna see how orange the different yolks are. I think that's gonna be an interesting experiment. And that's why we're feeding the chickens chaff hay. I want to see if it changes the color of the yolk and gives it more of that deeper orange like you get in the summertime when they're on pasture. Good morning, girls. You're coming out. You're not scared about the cold. Well, you can come out let me in so I can give you your feed. They're keeping the bedding stirred up nicely in here. So, when we're ready to clean it out, it's gonna be nice and easy. No eggs. All right, moose. So I've been giving them whole corn later in the afternoon and they have oyster shells for grit. They really seem to be loving that chaff hay.
We're gonna be leaving for church in a little while. So I don't want the chickens out when we're not home. The perimeter fence isn't that protective this time of the year. It works a little bit, but right now there's a lot of predators out and about with all the snow we have. They're looking for an easy meal. So we don't want that to be our chickens. One of our next projects showed up, guys. I've been looking for a hay wagon kit. This is one, it comes in two boxes. I wanna build a mobile pig shelter, like New York City. We'll call it New Hampshire or New Fork City for the pigs. And I've been looking for something, but it needs to be two axles, like a hay wagon. And I came across these online. And they're, from what I understand, they're adjustable because you can make them either 48 inches long or 78 inches long. And they'll accept a eight foot long wooden deck that you can make for it. And then on top of that, we can build our wooden structure. <laughs> so I'm hoping this can cure two issues. Make it easier to move the pigs on pasture from one area of the homestead to another area. But also, we've been butchering our pigs on our homestead the last two years. Yeah, two years. So we don't need, a, need to bring them to a butcher, but trying to get a pig on a trailer, it's not easy. We've done it before. So my thinking is, is we have like a ramp style tailgate to go into New Pork City, New Hampshire, whatever we're gonna call it. The pigs will get used to going into a trailer, so if you are bringing your animals, your pigs, to the butcher, they're already gonna know what, it, what it's like to go in and out of a trailer, so the day it comes to bring them to the butcher shop, it's gonna be stress-free, easy peasy. That's my thoughts. Look like I got a Kramer hairdo there. Sit. You like those? a good treat thank you yesterday we made a really good homemade pizza for lunch the true test is today anytime we've made a homemade pizza it never heats up good so the true test will be today reheating it for lunch and we'll find out how good it is now let's see if we can get all the slices in the oven oh I think we got it Boom. I don't know how they're gonna taste, but it smells amazing. Oh, don't burn myself. Whew. There we go. It's better left over the second time. That makes it an awesome pizza. You're uh, taking all the good stuff off. Uh, no, I'm not. Yeah, uh, you are. That's good. Is that good? Mm-hmm. I think we found something new to cook once a week. Hey, could you keep down that noise? We're trying to make a video here. You're a noisy eater. No. He's like, yep. Tough luck, buddy. Living on the edge. Living on the edge today. So, the weather hasn't been very nice to be outside lately. So we're gonna do some more cooking, or baking. So I can eat. We can, can eat, 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 put on our so winter So that way pounds. we can roll out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> Come springtime, we'll have plenty of weight to work off in the garden. Yeah. So we're gonna make some chewy oatmeal cookies today. Sounds good. I wonder if we can make like a filling. You know like those I'm little Debbie, like oh, you know a little Debbie yes. oatmeal cookies you used to get oh, as a kid? I, I wonder if we can make something even like whipped cream, just make like a thick whipped cream with yeah. vanilla yeah. flavor yeah. in it and yeah. Yeah. make a cookie yeah. sandwich. You really do want us to roll out here. Yes, you just yes. said we're packing <laughs> on the pounds so we could roll outside. Yes, Dad, yes. Alright, so we gotta make the cookies first and cook them. Oh, and gonna then... I had my cricket out last night, but I was too lazy to make. You could have made labels for your jars. I could have. You could have. Yeah. <sighs> Maybe tonight. No. <laughs> it's only 
Play-Doh. It's flour. I hope it don't smell like Play-Doh. I think everything smells like Play-Doh. You, you make Play-Doh with flour, though. You do? Yeah. I think, I think everything smells like Play-Doh. Yeah, but you do make Play-Doh with flour. Yeah. Wow, this smells sparkly. That's the new baking soda. It's like diamond. Diamond. One. Oh, it's half. It's a half one. And then, and then, one, and then three Pumpkin of pie spices. Get a little fall in the cookies. Fall? Fall. Pumpkin spring. pie. Spring. Is the big fall flavor nowadays, isn't it? Give it a little stirry stir. How soft is your butter? We gotta cream it. I mean, it's okay. It's okay. We should buy Kerrygold butter in bulk. We should buy a whole like pallet load of it. Best butter out there. Not a sponsor. But if they want to sponsor the channel, we would love it. They make some good butter. A cup and a cup. Cup and a cup. Should. Other things to do. Oh, I need two of those. Make mm -hmm. sure I don't lose count. Oh, I wanted to turn that paddle on, but it would have whacked you. So what we think will happen? <laughs> <laughs> and go flying. It probably wouldn't be fast enough to pull back either. No. So, can you break the eggs on camera today? You got a bunch of butter on that. Are you feeling it? What do I get if I break it on camera? A video of it. <laughs> <laughs> if there's any shells, it's just extra. We'll blame video. it. Well, we'll say it's just a crunchy oat. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I don't get that. <laughs> <laughs> you hope you don't get the, that crunchy oat? No. No. What was it, that pizza? Silly juice? Silly. Must be. We were floating down the river in your bed. You were laughing at my stories. Roll back to my Smell the pumpkin spice. Smells good. some without chocolate chips and the girls want chocolate chips in there. So we gotta compromise and we'll make some with and some without. We'll make sure small. No, I want big ones. I want small baby ones. I need manly ones. Look at that little puppy dog eyes. Whoa, that's way too many chocolate chips. Things look so good. 
good. That looks so good. I can't test it yet. I need some filling to go with them. Don't they look perfect? You did a good job. Bam. I started feeding our chickens chaff hay six days ago now, and I've got eggs collected from five days of them eating chaff hay. And I got them all individually marked, knowing which day they are. So I'm gonna crack them, and I wanna see what the difference of the yolks are. These two eggs right here are eggs from before we were feeding chaff hay. So we're gonna crack these first. And these will be like our guideline to go by to see if it makes a difference feeding chaff hay or not. So one of them is from an Easter egg layer and one of them is from a Novagen. I wouldn't think from one day it'd make a big difference, but let's check and see. Day three. This will be day five. That one's nice and orange. Might be onto something. So I'm not really seeing any difference here. Here, these are all looking the same. Maybe that one seems pretty orange. And then this one on day five seems orange. <coughs> these are too. This might be a little bit more. Hard saying. It's not a huge difference. This one right here looks pretty orange. So does that one. There's a slight difference in the egg yolk color. Not a huge one. I'm gonna at least finish feeding this bag of chaff hay to them and we'll keep checking the eggs on through on out. If it doesn't make a huge difference, I'm not gonna keep feeding the chaff hay to them. Gonna make a big batch of scrambled eggs for this week, so they're not going to waste. Delicious. That's good. Is it good? Mm -hmm.
Look at that. Mm -hmm. Would you just look at that? <laughs> Would you just look at that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Probably not gonna be able to break this. I need it. You got something right there. It's a messy. Yeah. It's good though, huh? Mm -hmm. Those cookies are good. I tried one with the chocolate chips in it. They're not as good, but shh. Don't tell the girls, because then they'll eat all my cookies on me. <sighs> it looks nice out right now, but it's still pretty chilly. The sun feels good. <laughs> it wouldn't hurt my feelings if this ice all melted and went away. What do you girls think, huh? Yeah, it's pretty slippery, huh, that blossom? Looks like you're good on hay still. You got plenty of hay. Arrange it for you. There you go. You're liking that hay better, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, I should have brought out some treats for you. I forgot. I'm sorry. I forgot. When I lock you up for the night, I'll bring out some more treats for you. It's like a hockey rink out here, guys. Watch this. It slides around like a hockey puck. Look at that. I think the goats are saying, hey, give us that other pine tree you cut down. I almost forgot about that. Holy moly. Watch out. There you go. Is that what you wanted? Something a little bit different for him. Let's go. This way. Burr, that wind is cold. Woo ah, let's see how many eggs we got today. Oh, that's a good little load. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, thank you ladies. Where are you? Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Look at that sun glistering off that ice. Man, oh man. We had plans on cooking a big dinner we had some stuff cooking in the crock pot and we just weren't hungry <laughs> later on that night so we decided just to have a quick easy dinner so that's what we did man we are looking forward to spring it is right around the corner and the temperatures are going to change and we have so many projects that we can't wait to start working on outside and just get the farm going more and just seeing new life on the farm springtime is a busy time but there's just so much new life and so much new stuff going on. It's so encouraging. So it'll be here before we know it, guys. The daylight time is extending, which is awesome. We're just waiting on our temperatures to warm up here. And then it'll turn into maple syrup season. Ugh, that's a sweet, delicious season. Thanks for lot. Well, let me try saying that again. Thanks for watching and coming along on our journey with us. You guys are a true blessing to our family. And we'll see you back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.